The uh, WHO, that's the World Health Organization, receives vast amounts of money from the United States. And uh, we pay for a majority, the biggest portion of their money. And they uh, actually criticized and disagreed with my travel ban at the time I did it. And they were wrong. They've been wrong about a lot of things. And they had a lot of information early, and they didn't want to do very — they seemed to be very China-centric. And uh, we have to look into that. So we're going to look into it. We pay for — we give a majority of the money that they get. And it's much more than the 58. 58 million dollars is a small portion of what they've gotten over the years. Sometimes they get much more than that. Sometimes it's for programs that they're doing, and and it's much bigger numbers. And if the programs are good, that's great, as far as we're concerned. But we want to look into it. World Health Organization, because they really are uh, — they called it wrong. They call it wrong. They really — they missed the call. They could have called it months earlier. They would have known. And uh, — they should have known, and they probably did know. So we'll be looking into that very carefully. And we're going to put a hold on money spent to the WHO. We're going to put a very powerful hold on it, and we're going to see. It's a great thing if it works, but when they call every shot wrong, that's no good. Um, you talked a lot about the WHO, and I was wondering, Dr. Fauci had, had discussed them earlier, so if I could ask you a question about that. Well, he respects the WHO, and I think that's — that's good. And he's worked with them for a long time. But they did give us some pretty bad uh, play calling. They've also, I think, given lots of countries in the world uh, accurate coronavirus testing that's been central to your guys' data modeling and so well, That I don't know. I can only say that with regard to us, they're taking a lot of heat because they didn't want the borders closed. They called it wrong. Uh, they called — they really called, I would say, every aspect of it wrong. Until the perhaps. funding freeze no, I'm does not, not happy about it. Look, we fund it. Take a look. I mean, go through step by step. They said there's no big deal, there's no big problem, there's no nothing. And then ultimately, when I closed it down, they actually said that I made a mistake in closing it down, and it, it turned out to be right. But at the time, they, you know, they did that. So we're just going to take a look at it. You know, we fund it. And, and they seem to be, you know, I said recently in social media, I said they seem to be very China centric. That's a nice way of saying it. But they seem to be very China-centric. And they, the they seem to err the always on the side of China. And we fund it. You know, so I want to look into it. Yes, please. Uh, thanks. A uh, quick follow-up on that. So is, is the time to freeze funding to the WHO during uh, a pandemic? No, of maybe not. Mass? I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but we're going to look at it. You did say that. You we give a tremendous — no, I didn't. I said we're going to look at it. We're going to investigate it. We're going to look at it. But we will look at ending funding. Yeah. To, because to, you know what? They called it wrong. And if you look back over the years even, they're very much uh, — everything seems to be very biased toward China. That's not right. When you talk about the WHO being China-centric, what exactly are you talking about? Is it because China has underplayed how many victims I don't know. They, they seem to come down on the side of China. Don't close your borders to China. Don't do this. They don't report what's really going on. They didn't see it. And yet they were there. They didn't see what was going on in Wuhan. They didn't see it. How do you not see it? They didn't see it. They didn't report it. If they did see it, they must have seen it. But they